Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we talk about um, how to calculate the probability of two pair. And if you have trouble understanding this video, then you should start with the first video on how to calculate the probability of a pair, um, because there are some important details that I said there that I might not repeat in this video. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Now let's look at what two pair um, could look like. So your delta seven and then a queen and then a jack. What? Where's the two pair? Then your delta, another jack, and then you river your two pair right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So you've got two sevens and two jacks making two pair. So how do we calculate the probability of two pair? It is this. Now the 52 choose five, as I said in the first video about a pair is going to be involved in each of the poker hand probability calculations because 52 choose five in the denominator is all the possible outcomes, right? So it's all the possible five cards you could be dealt out of 52. Okay. So let's look at the numerator then. Uh, what's 13 choose two doing? Well, you have ace and then two, three, four, all the way to a king. You've got 13 of those. And from them, you need to choose two of them for your two pair. So here, the two are the seven and the jack. So that's what 13 choose two is doing. And then one thing I didn't explain perfectly in uh, the first video about a pair is like when I was trying to calculate what four choose two is in my head, it seemed like I said it is equal to two factorial times two factorial, which I then said is six. But no, four choose two is equal to four factorial divided by two factorial times two factorial. So two factorial times two factorial, which appears in the denominator is equal to four, but four factorial in the numerator is 24. So 24 divided by four is six. So four choose two is equal to six. And what it's doing is out of four possible suits, it's picking two for your sevens. So that's this first four choose two. And then this second four choose two is picking out of four possible suits, two of them for your jacks. And so like four choose two is equal to six because, um, you know, there are six possibilities of how these two sevens could appear. So if you like went with like, if you write down like diamond and then uh, heart and then diamond and then spade and so on, there are six total possibilities of how these two sevens could appear. And likewise for six total possibilities have, of, of how these two jacks could appear. Yeah. So the 13 choose two is picking your seven and your jack in this particular case. So two out of the 13, make your two pair, um, two numbers. And yes, I'm referring to the jack as if it's a number, but yeah. So two numbers out of the 13 um, are chosen for your two pair. And then four choose two here and four choose two here are picking two suits out of four for each of um, the two numbers you've designated as making your pair. All right. So then let's move on to the 11 choose one. 11 choose one is there because now you're not allowed a seven or a jack for the fifth card. So you don't have 13 to choose from, you have 11 to choose from. And from 11, you choose one, right? And this time it looks like we chose a queen, but yeah, it could have been 10 other things. And of course, now that we've chosen that last card with 11 choose one, we need to pick a suit for it, right? And there are four possible suits out of them. We pick one, by the way, four choose one is equal to four. And so it's saying here that we've got four uh, suits to choose for this queue, which is about appropriate, right? Okay which is just right. All right. So now if we like calculated what 13 choose two is and we know four choose two is six and so on. And we multiplied all the numbers together in the numerator, we'll get this big number here in black. And the denominator unsurprisingly is the same denominator that we had when we we're doing the probability of a pair. And if we like simplified this number to get a sense of what it's like, how slim our chances are, it's one in 21. Yeah. All right, cool. Next is three pair. Keep watching.